And here we have a wild baldo in his natural habitat. Ah, good specimen this one is. Extra bald. Oh, don't scare him away. He may have noticed us. So let's face it, Mother Nature has some pretty amazing creatures like the axolotl. It's just so happy that it can replace its own head at any given moment. But science is now giving Mommy Nature a run for her money as they're able to create creatures that not only help humanity, but also give back to her as well. So today we are counting off the most incredible lab made animals that the world has ever seen. This is 10 amazing living creatures created by science. Number one is glow-in-the-dark pets. Oh yeah, these exist. Quite possibly the coolest nightlights in the world, these animals are injected with a glow-in-the-dark gene that are usually found in certain jellyfish that literally give them the same quality. Originally, this gene was used in fish to track their migration patterns, but soon after became an asset to doctors who were studying diseases such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Eventually, it got to the point where other more cuddly animals were created, including cats, dogs, mice, and a single rabbit that was made solely as an art project. Imagine your cat or dog sitting at the end of your bed glowing bright green as it stares deeply into your soul. Yeah, science has gone too far. Number two are super cows. In 1990, the first genetically modified bull was altered to humanize its offspring's milk. Since then, a whole new breed of cow has been created, which are more resistant to ailments such as mad cow disease and udder infections. Looking kind of like an animal that's been pumping iron for years to get revenge on Farmer Brown, these super cows are built mostly as a food source with their muscles providing more meat which their creators claim is much leaner. See? This is what happens when you call Daisy a wimp. She goes off, pumps some iron, and by the reunion she's capable of spraying milk 50 yards. Number three is the sterile pink ball worm. In the 1920s, an infestation of pink ball worms from Asia hit the United States cotton belt causing a devastating amount of damage to the crop and also the industry. Years later, to combat these pests, scientists genetically engineered millions of sterile pink ball worms and released them into the infested fields. The new pests battled with non-sterile males for mates, which greatly decreased the number of eggs being fertilized and thus the number of cotton plants destroyed. That is some mad scientist stuff and also kind of mean. I mean, these poor pink ball worms thinking they're going to get laid and then, you know, just nothing. Just science has rendered me a useless ball worm. They have recovery groups. Number four is fast growing salmon. These controversial fish were first designed by a company called Aqua Bounty Farms out of Fortune Prince Edward Island in Canada. After delivering micro injections of a growth hormone transgene into fertilized salmon eggs, the hatchlings would grow to maturity two to four times faster than the normal rate. This new species of fish, dubbed advanced hybrid super salmon, would diminish the need for ocean pens and were made sterile so the population could be controlled. And although they exist, over 200 grocers still refuse to sell the genetically altered fish in order to protect consumers and fishermen's jobs. I actually agree with that. I mean, advanced hybrid super salmon? That doesn't really sound like something I want eat. That sounds like something I want to read as a superhero out of a comic book. The advanced hybrid super salmon swims upstream to save the day! Number five is the featherless chicken. When a large group of KFC loving bioengineers get together, you know something weird's gonna go down. In 2002, through genetics and crossbreeding, Israeli scientists introduced the featherless chicken to the world. They claimed that the bird was more environmentally friendly and would reduce feeding costs as they matured much faster than normal chickens. The drawbacks, of course, are that feathers protect chickens from both parasites and climate conditions which means that featherless ones can't keep warm when it's cold and will sunburn quickly and intensely when it's hot. It's basically a piece of walking KFC, which just sounds cruel. Delicious, but cruel. Number six is the translucent frog. Hailed as a miracle of genetic engineering, the see-through frog was created in Japan to aid science in multiple ways. Many a high school lunch has been regurgitated on a science lab table over having to dissect an amphibian, but with Kermit's skin now clear, you can see the organs, cardiovascular system, and eggs without the need for, you know, 
And over time, you can also see how those internal pieces change and grow. And on top of all of that, cancers and other diseases can be monitored by observing their effects as though it were through a window. Let's just not take it so far that they're actually invisible because I don't want them to multiply and then there's just millions of invisible frogs walking around and I just, I can't see them. The idea of that freaks me out. Just I might step on one. Let's not go that far. Number seven are Popeye pigs. If you're an Epic Meal Time fan, you might want to look away for a moment as Japanese scientists have messed with the staple of their diet, bacon. Somehow, scientists have managed to genetically modify pigs by injecting them with a spinach gene that converts saturated fat into unsaturated fat. This essentially means that animals are both meat and vegetable. Now, as amazing as that sounds, these Popeye pigs have been met with much resistance as people demand to know why this would need to happen when you could just have pork and some vegetables on the side. And to them, I say because bacon and bacon is better than bacon and veggies. Duh. Number eight is hypoallergenic pets. If you love cats and dogs, but your allergies prevent you from owning such a pet, then you should know that there are companies that might just have the perfect family member for you. More biotechnology companies than pet shops, these businesses specialize in providing allergic owners with hypoallergenic pets and cats, albeit at prices that range between $6,000 and $27,000 depending on the breed. These companies use gene modification to alter the animal Animals by isolating the protein that produces the allergen. This process, called gene silencing, promises to revolutionize biology by letting scientists quickly figure out exactly what each gene does. I am all for this because eventually I'm hoping that this will eliminate diseases like cancer. It will also help eliminate the gene that causes the Mr. Clean look. Number nine is the sudden death mosquito. In addition to being supremely annoying, mosquitoes have actually caused millions and millions of deaths by spreading deadly diseases like malaria and dengue fever. In an effort to combat this, UK biotechnology firm Oxitec has genetically engineered a new breed of insect that would mate with regular mosquitoes and produce an offspring that could not survive to adulthood. The idea behind this is that they will then not be able to reproduce themselves. Dubbed the sudden death mosquito, these pests succeed in reducing their own population, but have drawn negativity in how much they upset the ecosystem. I do not care, make this happen. I hate mosquitoes. They're always just buzzing around. I'm gonna bite you. Can't wait till that's done. And number 10 is Dolly the sheep. And finally, the creme de la creme of animal genetics and a miracle in her time, Dolly the sheep. Dolly was created by Professor Ian Wilmot in 1996 at the Roslyn Institute in Scotland. Dolly holds the title of being the world's first mammal cloned from an adult cell. She only lived seven years after dying in 2003 from developing a lung disease common in older sheep. However, the amount of information discovered over the course of Dolly's creation and life has helped enhance cellular research and aided the mission to cure diseases like Parkinson's. This this is just absolutely mind-blowing. I need a minute to think about it. <sighs> wow, yes, yeah, so do I. Yeah, me too, wow. Where did I come from? And those, my friends, were 10 amazing living creatures created by science. Be sure to leave a comment below letting me know what topic you'd like to see me cover in the next top 10. As always, remember to click that red subscribe button to be notified of future videos on this channel. On the right, you'll find an annotation to my last video, as well as an annotation to my second channel, where I make vlogs, unboxings, and much more, so be sure to also subscribe to that. And you'll find an annotation to some cool merch if you're interested in picking some up. And as always, for those those of you on your mobile device, all of the links I just mentioned will be in the description. I will see you guys next video. Love you. Bye.